Greetings and welcome again to another episode of Brighter Days, where we believe that the path of the righteous gets brighter and brighter until the perfect day. I'm one of your hosts, Vanisha Williams. And I'm Malika Winston. Thanks so much for joining us. For those of you who may not know, the Next Gen Youth Ministry held a revival concert right here in the Dome on Friday, July 21st. During the concert, young people from around the city gathered in an atmosphere that encouraged the Holy Spirit to move as they encountered God through praise and worship. The event was open to everyone, and we also extended invitations to different churches in the area. The audience enjoyed spoken word by two of the Next Gen Youth, as well as performances by the worship group Christ for the Nations and the surprise rap artist Holby. To God be the glory, two ladies rededicated their lives to Christ during the concert, and one of them was filled with the Holy Spirit. Following the concert, the next-gen youth and guest churches were given access to a special meet and greet with the artists. Two of our next-gen youth were also given the exciting opportunity to interview Holby and the worship leader from CFN. Let's listen in. What's up, Victory family? My name is Madeline Chapman. My name is Caleb Paul. And we are here at the Revival Concert for Next Gen Youth Ministry. And we have the honor and privilege in interviewing not only Mr. Holby. How are you doing tonight? Hey, I'm doing good. Doing good. Good. And a couple of our youth have asked you some questions. And we just want to interview tonight. So the first question is, how did you get to where you are? And how did you, like, pursue your dream and not give up? Yeah, I would say... uh First of all, I got to where I'm at by giving up what I thought, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what I thought I was wanting to do. And originally I was just wanting to do this for me. And uh, the moment I started just letting God kind of have control and give me ideas and vision, honestly, um, things started flowing better than how they were before. So, and yeah, I didn't give up by just putting in hours. Like every night I was creating music. Every night I was trying to own my craft. So if you're out there, you're trying to do something, stay consistent with it like every day. Besides, maybe try to try to get a rest day in for sure, but yeah. yeah. So putting in the work, but also surrendering to God. Yeah. Right. Kind of double, you know. Yeah, it's that it's that idea of like I'm gonna rest and I'm gonna work. I'm gonna trust and I'm going you know I'm gonna get with it. You know. So. Right. All right. Next question. So next question: How did you start rapping, and what was your first song? I started rapping by a battle rap. So when I was in school, in the middle school, I'd battle rap all my friends. Um, my first song, man, my first song was a song called Diversity Means. We, me, me and my friend Jalen wrote it for a, a reflections class and for like a PTA competition, and it won. And I remember it was just so funny because it was like this corny little rap, but it was it was a start, you know what I'm saying? So, right. Yeah. Awesome. So our next question is, when did you go viral? Sheesh, I really would say I started going viral this year. Um, around January, me and my uh, friend Forrest Frank put out a song called No Longer Bound, yep. and it just went. And then uh, we put out a song Alter, that one went. Me and Lecrae did Walk, that one went. And it was like, okay. Like I had other songs and I had some, some minor virality, but this year it's been like, oh, like just a huge change in the career for sure. So. Yeah, and I can honestly say that that is very true because I remember hearing that song and I was like, oh my gosh, when I found out who you were, I was like, he's the guy that was no longer bound. Come on. Yeah, no, shout out to Forrest and we, that song is just so far beyond me. Like seeing what God's done with it, I'm like, I'm just thankful to be a part. So. Yeah, that's amazing. Next. All right, next question. Who inspired you to rap? Oh, man. Um, definitely Lecrae. Uh, Lecrae. Kendrick Lamar and my friend Eddie that I met in band class who used to write in his notebook like I was enamored by how he would just be able to pin stuff down and so yeah say my friend Eddie as well that's amazing and our last and final question is what is your testimony oh wow where do I begin I mean I, I grew up in the church to get the cliff notes version I grew up in church I did all the right things I uh, said the sinner's prayer when I was four and I did all the stuff but when I was like 16 or 17, um, I went on a mission trip to Memphis, Tennessee, and I saw some of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. I saw people getting healed. I saw people getting touched. And on that trip, I heard Jesus speak to me. He said, follow me, and, and it wrecked me. And uh, it became this thing where I realized that um, life is knowing him. I was saying in the concerts, knowing him. 
Like, it's not about knowing about Him. I knew a lot about God and I had a passion for God, but it's different when I got to know Him and know that, like, oh, like, you live in me. I'm your temple. Like, and so that's kind of, like, what really um, grabbed me was that personal relationship and knowing that, like, He has freed me from any childhood trauma, freed me from just simple, like, disrespect of my parents, freed me from selfish ambition. Like, God is literally, um, because of what He did on the cross, like, free me and you don't have to have for anybody listening like you don't got to have this crazy testimony but you also don't have to have this cookie cutter testimony your testimony is your testimony like what we have in common is that he died he rose he set us free and, and that's it so don't don't look down on yourself if, if you don't you ain't been through what other people been through so yeah that's amazing thank you so much for sharing your testimony my honor my honor Yes, and thank you so much, Victory Family, for watching, and stay tuned for what's next in the Next Gen Ministry. Hi, my name is Maria. I am with Christ for the Nations CFN Worship, Christ for the Nations Worship, and I am the worship leader. Um, at Christ for the Nations, we, um, we have a school of worship, and we are big with encouraging um, the students who come to um, exercise their God-given talents and to go ahead and write whatever the Lord is telling them or whatever they feel in their hearts or the new revelation that they have about the Lord. One thing that I found out is in songwriting, the more you write, the better you get at it. It's a muscle that you have to use. So we make sure that the students are exposed to the um, opportunity to write. So in, with that being said, the creative process is like like the, the term creative. Uh, you really, I don't think that there is a, um, there is a certain formula that you kind of have to follow. Um, I think that um, first of all, um, believing that there is a song that the Lord wants to sing through you, that there's something that the Lord wants to say to you, and once you say, you can also sing. So I think the 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 men, you understanding that and staying in faith, knowing that the Lord wants to speak to you already sparks up the process. So it can be as you're driving, it can be as you're sitting and chilling, it can even be when you're annoyed. As long as you have faith, you step, no, you step up knowing that the Lord has something for you and in truth and knowing that, you know, His word is the truth. And you can also be real. And most, some of our songs um, were written out of some, us being in our feelings a little bit, but the Lord still used that. So the creative process is not a formula. I would say stand on the word and step, step out in faith, knowing that the Lord has something to say through you. Um, we have, I personally, um, I love plants these days, so I'm a plant mom, so this is like my newest hobby, but I would say that as a team, we love, for some reason, we love just going to bowling. It's just the darnest, ridiculous idea. We try doing something else and we always ended up bowling, so I think that would be the, the hobby of the team and yeah and and some and I would say the second thing is just staying together and I think it's beautiful that cultivating that um, space of unity um, sometimes we we find it hard to part you know even after rehearsals after meetings it's hard to part and I think that would that would be our second greatest hobby just being together and fellowshipping together and yeah I think it builds trust and I think that um, it also allows the, the Holy Spirit to move in, in unity. That's so hard to say because there's so much I want to say. <sighs> there's so much I would like to say, but I would say this. Um, get to know Jesus and not in a religious sense. Get to know his person, his personality, um, his love. I think the understanding how much he loves you would actually help you in in everything. Everything starts 
by Christ, by knowing Christ. And that is what the apostle said, the apostle Paul said that I may know him, you know. So knowing Christ, the the measure of your life or the quality of your life is based on how on, on the level of Jesus that people see in you. So I would say get to know Jesus, get go to the words and everything else will follow through. You'll get to know who you are, you'll get to know what you're called to, everything else, even your creativity, your style, how special you are, it all starts by knowing Jesus. When you lose something, you don't look for what you lost, you switch on the light first. When you switch on the lights, you will even find things that you didn't even know that you lost. So I would say, just look for Jesus. He's the light of the world. Look for Jesus and you'll find yourself. Well, family and friends, that's all the time we have for today because service is about to begin. If you're interested in learning more about the Next Gen Youth Ministry, visit vccenter.net slash nextgen. To see the full interview with these amazing artists, be sure to catch the extended version on the VCC Charlotte Roku channel and on all the other platforms listed on the screen. Before you go, give us a like or a follow on either of our social media platforms listed on the screen or linked in the description below. Don't forget to download the VCC Church app so that you can stay connected with us 24-7, 365. Thank you again for joining us for another episode of Brighter Days. Keep letting your light so shine, Victory Family, until that perfect day. Have a great week and, and enjoy, enjoy service. service.